Yo, what's up? This video has been brought to you by Card Kingdom. Yo, welcome back to the episode of Single Scoop. This week, we're jamming Mono Brown. We're playing all the artifacts, all the colorless cards, and, you know, we're going to have a few things that reward us for having a bunch of colorless producing lands. Uh, for starters, as you know, we're going to just have the Mind Stones, uh, the Guardian Idols, and the Eren Crags, and things like that to ramp and accelerate so that we can get to the Forsaken Monument early. With Forsaken Monument, whenever we tap a permanent that adds for colorless, it adds an additional colorless. Also, all my colorless creatures get plus two, plus two, and we gain two life. So this should accelerate our way to Ugins, Ulamogs, I don't know, random Karn things for fun, because why not? This deck might be pretty slow and clunky, though, uh, as we'll probably hit some, like, bombs in hand while having none of the acceleration and just get stuck and die, because I think this format might be too fast for it. But we're going to try it anyways. All right, all right, this this is sick. This is sick. So we know they're playing Lurus. This tells me that we're definitely getting Thought Seized. Here's to hoping that I just, I don't know, I get to keep my Chalice. It's unlikely, but I'll try. All right, I'm getting Thought Seized. Oh, it's Monkey. All right, play Blast Zone. Pass. All right, so it's going to hit. It's always going to hit. Worm Coil, you got it. Am I getting Thought Seized now? At least if I get Thought Seized, I can then play... Yeah, okay. Well, one, some version of a Thought Seized. I'm probably going to get my Chalice taken out. So I get to Filigree. Filigree's nice. Okay. All right, I'll pass. Let's see how this plays out. I, you know what's funny? I have a strong feeling they're going to hit a Karn off the top of my deck. <laughs> All right, let's see it. Here it is. Oh, it's Ugin. Okay, okay. I thought they were going to hit the Karn. Uh-huh. Tarmogoyf. Got it. Run the tables, little Tarmogoyf. Run that table. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna just let them hit me for a healthy... Oh, whoa, they shrunk their goif? That's cool. They get some mana here, that's nice. So they play Lurus right now, I assume, right? They pop both treasures, they play Lurus. Because, like, what can I do to you? Oh, that's interesting. I'm gonna draw a card. Maybe I hit a land. Okay, that's not what I wanted to hit, but I hit it. I guess I hit something. That's cool. All right, DRC. Run it. Lurus. Run it. They got a monkey. Pop off. Always on time. I guess I have to play Worm Coil to survive. All right. All right. <laughs> All right, I'll, I'll keep this. I'll keep this. Perfect. All right, can I chalice you for one? I just want to chalice somebody for one, but every time I try, I get thought seized. Oh, God. I really need to chalice you on one. <laughs> or else I have no shot. I have no shot if I do not chalice you on one. Okay? I'm getting my land blown up, aren't I? Okay. Please just be like an elf deck. Okay, that's fine. <laughs> At first, I thought I was gonna get blown out here, but I think I think this is okay. Chalice on one. All right, so they have four mana. Is it collected Kaka time? Oh, it's natural order. Hoof me. Pretty good. That's exactly twenty. GGS. Luris, perfect. Perfect. All right, I'm getting thought seized. Do it. Oh, I'm not getting thought seized. Great. Wait, I might get milled. All right, weathered runestone, so I don't get the thought seized out of me. All right, some DRC. Am I getting thought seized? I just I'm waiting for the the shoe to drop here. You know? Oh, that's so good. Check this out. I'm gaming, Ma. On one? Into the breach! I've been playing too much Valorant. All right, I guess that there's one other option. Oh, one other problem. What do I do about the thing that's hitting me? Like, there's... 
something that is just hitting me over and over right now. I might need to pop my, uh, my Mind Stone. Or, like, if I could find a, uh, Blast Zone. I've never lived this long or gone without getting Thought Seized, so this is all new to me. So I hope you all understand. It's a bit, it's a bit, uh, new territory. Okay. I'm gonna just pop the rock here, because I need to find something to do. Oh, cool. That's actually good. <laughs> yeah, dude! All right! I'm gonna mulligan. Uh, I guess this is better. Don't thought seize me. Oh, okay. So I'm just gonna get geisted. Got it. Luckily, we're not outright just dead. If it is the Geist game plan. But if it's the Mono White Prison plan, I'm about to be in a lot of trouble. Okay, I'm in a lot of trouble. Foretell, more like Foresmell. Got him. Check it out. Check it out. I got it underneath the Solemnity so I can draw one card. Annoying Peacekeeper. I forgot they can name abilities with that. Oops. All right, they named the Foreskin Monument. What if I made X3? Would I be wild for that? Because then they can't play Solemnity. They can't play any of their... Oh, but they could approach the second sun me. What else exists in their colors that I should be worried about? I think it's just X being three. I think we wait to name X3. Like, I, I don't know. I mean, if they fare well, then they have fare well. But I, I'm not naming six. That's for sure. What the hell is that? Is that, is that just randomly a, a youthful Valkyrie? <laughs> Where did that come from? Wait, do I not name three anymore? I'm so at a loss. Maybe I need to do this. I, I Plus, then I can do the X's three afterwards and be okay. Is that Starnheim? Okay, that's fine. Dude, I <laughs> what is this deck? They're playing the most fair magic I've ever seen in my life. Okay. Gain some life. Shuffle in my Tron Lance. I, I don't, I genuinely don't know what to do against this opponent. That's my problem right now. Like I'm at a loss. They probably have path. Maybe I name one. X is path. I should have done this first before I played my Worm Coil. I did this all out of order, because now they're going to probably path me. Yeah. Okay, I don't know what that is. <laughs> what is that card? I know that I lost Death Touch and Life Link, but what is that card? Where did that come from? Where did that come from, dude? Oh, we're in trouble, aren't we? Not nah, Doom Scar. Well, I drew a Tron land at least. That was cool. All right, I drew a lot of nothing, but whatever. I guess if I add a counter, I could move this to two. Then I can get rid of the annoying flyer. This opponent's too powerful. I don't. I just don't know what their deck is. I just got blown out, sorta. I guess I could start making very big mites with the Mirex as well. Let's draw cards. Uh, I believe gaming has been declared. I'm gonna gain some life. There ain't no way I'm whiffing on Tron lands now, baby. All right. I don't have any threes. This is great. Except for, I guess, the construction zone drone or whatever. But I've now gained my way back up to 20. I, too, am a life gain deck, I guess. It <laughs> Invasion of Govacon, I got bad news for you, buddy. You didn't know you were playing against the Landlord. You didn't know you were playing against the Lord of Lands. The Landlord himself. Oh my god, we got there! All right, all right, I'm gonna keep this. Oh no, it's mono red. Oh no, it's mono red. Well, at least I have the chalice. And I know I won't get thought seized yet. I need to get this chalice on one right now. Next turn, play Mindstone. 
Turn after, play Karn? No, don't look at my lands. Don't look at my lands. Why are you looking at my lands? You're making me nervous. <laughs> Opponent's making me nervous. Not Eidolon. Come on. Always Eidolon on two. Cracked. All right, well, here you go. Go for it. This is bad. <sighs> is Karn worth taking two for? Yes, right? Or I mean, uh, is this Mind Stone worth taking two for? Next turn I go to four, then five. So I don't really get to do anything different. It doesn't get me to Worm Coil faster. Kamano, they'll take two. They get Prowess off this, that's fine. Okay. I'm super dead. Because I think this is Skewer, right? Skewer gets around it. I don't think I could take the two here. Yeah, I don't think I could take the two here. I play Karn. I minus. I'm going to grab the, the, the Foreskin Monument. And then I can try to block. But that doesn't get me there at all either. Because I'd be at six right now, which is the concern. Ah, oh, shoot. Wait, why would they do that instead of just kill me? I guess I remove the Eidolon from combat and try to take one. So I'd be at one right now if I had played that Mind Stone, which is much scarier, right? Because then that Raminap rune could kill me here. Oh, yo, we got there. <laughs> it seems good. It has a, a, a rune stone, which is always good in this timeless meta. I do like that our opponent's name is Peaky Blinders. Good show, by the way. Good show, by the way. Blue White. Interesting. Like, like, that, like, you know what? They got They got to look at the hand. You know, the hand, the, the deck is too, too gassed. They were worried. I get it. I get it. Check this out. I'm comboing off mom. All right. This is where they just play that Azorius spell that exiles all artifacts. And then I go crying to Jimmy Wong. That's just what happens. It's how I, it's how I roll, baby. Narset. Well, that's actually pre-boarding, isn't it? Teferi. Oh, dude, this is not going to end well for me, is it? Do you think they have Path to Exile? Nah, they don't got Path to Exile. Why would they play that? That's such a weenie hut card. Nah, they wouldn't play that. They're not about that life. They're not going to find it. Okay, that's fine. Or not path, but I meant swords. Like a control deck would never want me to gain six life. That's for sure. <laughs> what if I just put this on five? There we go. I didn't think I'd get this far. What do I do? Do they play emperor? Oh, we're so cooked, dude. All right. All right, on the brighter side, I can draw on their turn. Teach me, are you chalice checking me online? Okay, why Why would they do that? Oh, to uh, add to their graveyard to delve. Eugene, baby, it's Eugene. It happened? Did they just chalice check me IRL, by the way? Like seriously, that's hilarious. All right, go for it. Here comes Teferi. What can I do here? So this Ugonard is irrelevant because I can't do anything, right? Hold on, hold on. So for two, I can then play for five, right? For two and try to squeeze out. Okay. Squeeze out this for the foreskin monument. I'm gonna go crying to Jimmy Wong. <laughs> I'm gonna go cry to Jimmy. <laughs> they actually play it! They actually play it! What if I do this for two now? Sure. All my mana rocks come into play tapped, by the way, from the alchemy card. So I hope you all know that. That's why I didn't do uh oh no. Okay. 
So I don't know why they're not doing something about Ulamog, but now I can't, or about my foreskin monument. Settle the wreckage. You got it, buddy. I think I just do this. It doesn't matter if they counter my, my Ulamog because I'll still have the ability to then <laughs> to exile their stuff. Get dunked on. Thanks for making it to the end of the video. If you enjoyed that, check out this deck where I actively try to lose the game with a bunch of cards like Demonic Pack, Glorious End, and well, maybe I don't lose the game, but I do have cards that say that.